passage 74 if we look at the provision of the constitution we will find that this resolution is in pursuance of the provision in article 312 according to sub article 2 of the same article we have now the indian administrative service and the indian police service which according to the sub article are deemed to have been created by parliament earlier also we decided to create some other all india services the reasons for the creation of these services have been given by the honorable minister and i entirely agree to them para one other aspect of the question i want to place before this house and that is that the scale of pay and the prospects in all india services will be better than those in the state services that there will be a wider field of selection and that the conditions of service and the scale of pay will attract better persons we know that quite a large number of our young men doctors engineers etc are still outside the country thought they are keen to come and serve the country the service conditions in the state services are not such as to attract them i hope and trust that our young engineers and others who are abroad will be attracted to come back to our country and serve it in view of the better prospects para i think that the object of creating an all india service is to supplement and not to supplant the state services i mean to say that there will still be the state education service although we are going to have an all india education service also i know how the states are dealing with it i know about the state of uttar pradesh as far as education is concerned we have got a state education service and also a subordinate education service in the state service there is class 1 and class 2 there is no direct recruitment to class 1 services generally therefore when we are going to create an all india service i think the first question which will come up before the government will be as to which of the personnel of the state services are fit enough to be absorbed in the all india service i find that the honorable minister had suggested that there might be a proportion of 33% reserved for promotion para after this resolution is passed by this house the government will consider the question of legislation for the creation of these services i read the provisions in article 312 and i know that the creation of these services is possible only by a law that we have got to bring forward a bill and pass it into law but as far as the conditions of service and all other things are concerned they are also to be regulated by parliament therefore my suggestion is that these things should be determined by rules made under the proposed act and the authority to make the rules should be delegated in the government in that respect so that after everything has been gone into a proper decision is made both in regard to the conditions of service and also the proportion for recruitment for direct recruitment and by promotion para i have seen executive officers working in the states drawn both from the ias and the provincial executive service 
normally ias officers are deputed to the states and during their posting they are under the control of the states they are posted according to the recruitment of the state i think the same principle will be followed in regard to these all india services also but it will be desirable that officers serving in one state should not be allowed to remain there for a very long period they should be taken back from the state and given to another state or they may be allowed to work in the center but as far as the administrative control of these officers is concerned that will be with the states but at the same time because they are all india officers all disciplinary proceedings and action taken in consequence thereof is to be taken by the central government in consultation with the union public service commission para there is one thing more and that is this although these officers will be serving in the states and will really to a certain extent replace the present state officers still i feel that additional expenditure on administration will be necessary to think that it will not involve any additional expenditure is i think not a correct notion the finances of the states being what they are all the elastic resources are with us at the center it is not possible for the states to bear any further burden if any additional expenditure is involved in the creation of these services that burden must be borne by the center and not transferred to the states because this expenditure is on central services